Hello everyone, it's Nerf the Ninja here, and this is another ranked match commentary. This is a post commentary of a game I had with none other than Ice Cream, a very well known name in the Scrolls community. I was just playing some ranked matches, and I was surprised I paired up with him, so enjoy the match. I am Growth, and he was Energy. I, I used to be happy when someone was energy as soon as I usually win, but lately with the new, um, with the update, energy got some nice scrolls like the, um, the, that moving lobber, the storm runner, solemn giant, the metal wonder. You'll see some nice metal wonder action in this game. So I got a very nice starting hand here. I have a... Great Wolf, Ragged, Mangy Wolf combo, and a Ragged Wolf. And I have a, um, a, uh, Brave. Braves aren't too good against energy because there's always sparks and burns, but he did not play one that right there, so that was good. So he's just tucking his units down low, so he's not have to get hit by me. So I have three great cards here. I like to sack the Mangy, even though it's a great uh, combo with the Great Wolf. I already sacked one veteran before, and veterans can be really valuable. So, my rating is all the way up to, I believe, 1840 something. And. Since it's a postcom, I do know what happened in this game, but we'll have to find out if I was able to beat the legend I scream. It was pretty cool. I friended him and he accepted. So he is just pumping some energy into that um, forge because he probably doesn't have anything great to play right now. I sacked the Rangers Bane and now I have a very good hand. So I will. Do I brother or do I veteran? I like to go with the brother because a veteran here, even though it use all of my resources, it's not a necessity right now to destroy that um that automaton because it's not even attacking right now. Now I could go for it. I get I get a quake, but that would hurt me more than him, so I decide to sack it for cards. And the best move here is to destroy that attacking automaton. And I am well aware that by me placing a unit down there, it's probably going to die next turn by some sort of bombard or fury from his um, cannon back there. But I have taken a commanding lead. I have board control. And he does have a little bit better card advantage right now, but my units on the board are keeping him from getting something going. It's a big thing with energy. Energy loves to get board control and and hold it without giving it up with its high health units. Like that bottom row has 23 health right now. And that's gonna be hard to plow through. And that veteran is like dead unless I put something in front of it, which I should, yeah, I'll put the sister in front of it. It's a nice chump blocker right there. And I get a fertile, I could Sack for resources and play the fertile on the sister, but I need it as a jump blocker right now. So maybe I'll play the fertile soil on the wolf, but I think I'm going to elect to play a brother of the wolf. And I think I play it down there behind the veteran. Yeah, that's what I do, but looking back, I probably shouldn't do that. A little spoiler right there. I should probably try to stay away from those cannons. Just stay away from his units while I can and don't let him let him come to me and then I could just come back and kill him. But I make a lot of mistakes. I'm not that good at this game. Really, if you guys just if you just play, you can get a high ranking. I'm the top uh like I think 250 now. And see there's a bombard. Now he's going to hurt me a lot and I believe he ends up killing 
Oh no, I thought he I thought he would kill the um, brother too. But the chump blocker was pretty good because if I didn't have that sister there, that um that brother of the wolf in the bottom left would be dead. So yeah, what I was saying, um this game it isn't too popular right now i think it will get more popular once it actually gets officially released and everything but right now you can definitely get a high rating just by playing because there's not that many people to pass so i was able to get a top 250 rating in like a month of having the game so i will fertile soil that wolf now I have the card advantage and I'm feeling good about this game. But this is Ice Cream, a very a very formidable formidable opponent. So I have to be cautious. He might have something up his sleeve. And I have a Ranger's Bane and a Kinfolk Brave. Braves are always a little weak versus energy. They're really only super good against growth, but might as well play it because even if he does burn it then that saves a burn for another creature I have so I'm still very close to his unit so he has the ability with a bombard to really do some damage here he can wipe my board besides that great wolf up there so there is another mistake I was staying too close to his units you don't if you don't have if you're not like gonna kill them then no use of being near them. So then they can't come right back and kill you. So now I have a veteran, a ranger's bane, a brother of the wolf, and a sister. And a lot of people make, make the mistake of sacking the sister. But if you're not directly sacking for a resource to play something else, you should just play it so you get another card to see if you want to sack that. And I didn't really want to sack the god hand. That could be valuable at this stage of the game. But I didn't want to sack the other stuff, and doing that, I was able to keep the veteran and finish out my resources by playing a brother and a ranger's bane on the front cannon automaton. So now he has more scrolls than me, and more creatures on the board. And he has a good move there, he goes with the iron whip burn. And now things aren't looking as good as they were before. Just before I was I was coasting and now now things look different so all of his units are on cooldown I have that one great wolf going so I will be able to destroy at least one of the um, gun automatons I even though I love the ragged wolf and um, and great wolf combo I have to sack it because the veteran is just a little bit more valuable and I I wish I could play the Fertile Soil this turn with the Veteran, but I need one more resource. So, what can you do? But that that lower Cannon Automaton that he has, has poison right now because I, Ranger just, I Rangers banned him last turn. So that means he will take one damage at the start of his next turn, so that Veteran will be able to kill it by taking it down two because it has armor one and it has three attack so three minus one is two so then that can will be left with one health and then when his turn starts it will take one point of poison damage and die so now there's not much else i can do but may as well just stick a sag heart on the great wolf and there we go and i decide to do the smart thing and not make my mistake before of being a little too aggressive and staying too close to his creatures because he could always just turn right back around and destroy me with a bombard and I haven't even seen him play any furies yet so now energy tends to once energy has board control like it does right now it's going to be very hard for me to get back if I get it back and he plays another forge not, not a good thing I wanted to see and a scatter gunner. So now, right now, I am just hoping for a couple quakes, and then I could reset this game. But even if I do that, 
it's still not that good for growth because growth if you if you're growth and you didn't win by round 14 or 15 then chances are you're not gonna win but don't get me wrong i you you can still win you just need a little bit of luck and some good cards and just keep him on his toes with god hands so i did get a drew barrel ground which is going to be good here because i'll be able to move some units in like i was doing before without getting them killed and i i fertile soil the vetter even though it's pretty good to have it's not it's more valuable to have those three cards and i can play a druid barrel ground to protect the great wolf and then i'll be able to move in I tend to usually use the Druid Barrel Ground more as a wall than its special ability to heal units, but that does come in handy, and he goes to the Bound dis Dispersal to destroy the Great Wolf, but it does come in handy when, like, an opponent, like, quaked, and you're afraid of the double quake, so you just need to heal your units around the thing. But, that's why I'm deb I may switch out the Druid Burial Ground for a, um... I forgot what that other growth wall is. It has four health. It's like a statue of like a woman holding like water, like a cup of water or something. It's something like that. Not really sure. So I did get my quake and may as well use it now. So killed a bunch of his units on cooldown. Took out that scatter gunner. And now one, one more quake would save the day. If only I could draw quake with this sister of the fox and do i get it no i obviously couldn't play this turn anyways but it's always nice to pocket that for next turn so now he's still has control of the board even though a single quake would take that out of his hands but like i said even then Energy has very powerful high um, cost creatures that I can play late. And it'll be hard for me to come back. And there's the Storm Runner, the new awesome card. So now he has tons of uh, gun automatons, two forges, a huge cannon automaton, and a Storm Runner. And I just quake, so I don't know how he has all this stuff. And I sack for cards, hoping to get another quake, but I didn't. So, I'm just going to have to use what I have. I, I don't really have much good units. I would like to have like a brother, or a great wolf, or a brave, or even a veteran. But, I have a mangy wolf that... I think I'm probably going to play, I, don't, I hate playing mangy wolves when they're not actually using their ability of having all other wolves, um, their cooldown goes down by one, because that can be so powerful, it's like another rally, and it helps the great wolves attack, because a great wolf gains one attack for every wolf on the field, but I can't really play anything else, so I might as well play it. And I almost forgot that I sec. No, I, I did sec. So I guess I'm going to save the stag heart for a better creature. And I'm not really attacking right now, so it's not a big deal. So looking at this board, it is very scary. And there's the first metal wonder. Believe me, those things will do a lot of havoc in this game, so stay tuned. So he moves his units back a little bit up top, protects his storm runner. That makes me breathe out a little bit, give a sigh of relief, because I know he's not going to go like a bombard that turn and absolutely destroy me. So it brought, buys me a little more time, but now all his units are attacking. So here's the draw if I can get a quake. And I don't. Man, a quake would be amazing here. All those units he has attacking right now. So, I didn't get the quake. And it's pretty sad. But I have that god hand right now I could use. And I could play it with the Vetter. So right now, I think I'm thinking, what would I actually do with it? And I almost cast it without playing the Vetter first. <laughs> I do that a lot. And 
I believe I did do that move. Let's just make sure. Yep, here we go. So, just calculating what will be the best. So I can destroy the cannon in the back there. Very, um, very high priority target back there. And I move those guys down. Destroy the automaton because I don't want another automaton coming out. And destroy one of the automatons. I meant to say forge before that. I could have gone and destroyed his upper row and destroyed that storm runner, but I like the way I just did that because now the three middle lanes, I have control of them. But he has nine resources and he had four cards, so he can definitely fill those things up. And he starts out with a dust runner. And all of my units on the board are vulnerable to a dust runner attack. Because Dust Runner kills any unit with three or less health, and that's exactly what happens. It destroys the Mangy Wolf with a bombard. So now I'm left with two Ragged Wolves, and he was able to get down a Metal Wonder. Now it looks like he has some nice crazy formation on the field. A giant arrow leading right at those uh, vetters, and I am scared. So, I don't really need two rallies right now, and what do you know, I get it right back. So it's not too big of a deal. And the best move for me here is just get some units on the board and start my comeback. I wish I had a Quake right now, but I haven't had a Quake since that first one I used. So, I guess I'm just going to play the two Great Wolves. Maybe not the best place to put them, but I want to protect my Vetters because those 10, those 10 um, growth and my 4 cards are much better than his 2 cards and 9 energy. And I want to keep it like that. I know we can go for a spark or a burn or anything, but I don't believe Ice Cream is packing spark this game because I have not seen it yet. And I would assume that he's found when it's already round 16 and he would probably spark something. And he goes with for the third Metal Wonder. Now you can see he, the three Metal Wonders in his deck, he used them all, and you can see how awesome they are. So I was really afraid of a bombard there, that would be devastating, but a good thing that last card he had was not a bombard. Very, very happy for that. So now I have Mangy, a Rallying, a Crimson Bolt, and a Quake. Now I'm thinking about Quaking, that would help, but it was, it was more necessary before, because now a lot of his units have three or more health, and it would destroy my two vetters, so that would not be the best idea. So I'm not going to go for the Quake, and now I could Mangy, but... The Mangy, it doesn't really clear his board as much as I would like. So I go for the Rally Crimson Bowl. I guess I... See, look, watch those things go to work. Those Metal Wonders stealing two damage to random idols. I guess I should have gone for the God Hand. I'm not sure if I saw I got a God Hand. Then I could have reduced the damage of the Metal Wonders. Not a, not a huge misplay because, again... Idle damage is not the priority. But those metal wonders can get annoying. They just were, it was just, just by me playing spells, those three metal wonders were able to do 2, 4, 6, 12 damage to my idols. Luckily, it kind of spread it out, so all my idols are about like around half health. But I already took down one of his idols, and I think we're in much better shape now. Now we're kind of even with the units on the board. He'll be able to destroy one of the vetters with his Dust Runner, but it's not a problem. He goes for the Thunder Surge, which was worse. Now both vetters died, and a second ago I had the resource advantage, and all of a sudden I don't. Now I have 8 and he has 9, but I have the 5 cards and he has the 1 card. So I can God Hand here, but God Hand right here would not be that good because I don't have much units on the board. I could God Hand just to destroy some things, but might as well Mangy then. And I think that's what I do, unless I Quake. I do have that Quake right now, but I don't. I go for the... What did I go for? I don't even remember. Yeah, and Social Strotum, easy to stack because it's really p powerful against Growth. Growth versus Growth, because then you have the upper hand by a little bit. But against Energy, those burns can just easily take it out. So now I have 8, and see look, I just play a Ranger's Bane and those two things just go to work. They just chomp down and hurt those idols. So I Ranger's Bane the, um, 
the scatter gunner so it won't attack unless he plays a fury or bombard which chances are he will and a little bit of a misplay there actually more than a little bit of a misplay a pretty big misplay i put the mangy up top right there so if i want to destroy the metal i can't destroy the metal wonder and the and the um what's this called uh, the dust runner without playing the crimson bull so i played it what i should have done is maybe i shouldn't have played the crimson bull so i could save that card for later and just and just put the great wolf in front of the mangy so that the dust runner can't kill it because the because the mangy has three health which dies to a dust runner but the great wolf had more i'm just telling him his metal wonders are pretty awesome it's just taking down those idols and i haven't seen him throw out the new um solemn giants yet those awesome cards maybe he has them maybe he's just stacking them but at this point in the game i haven't seen one i'm not expecting one so hopefully we won't have what happened to me last game where somebody throws out a solemn giant and just takes out an idol with eight health to win the game <laughs> goes out with a a um grave lock and a fury which destroys my great wolf which was pretty important for him so because that that scatter gunner was gonna die next turn so he got some use out of it more than some use that was a pretty important card for me so now i'm looking at the board what do i want to do i can quake but that would really not be worth it i would only kill that dust runner up top which is not too much of a threat when i don't even have any units up there i mean that idol up there is a goner anyways his um his grave lock is going to destroy it but you only have to hold on to three idols but now we're getting into dangerous territory here because the our idols are so low health that the grave lock elder is going to destroy that idol and then just two spells and we could lose because the metal wonder can just go two damage on one of those four health idols so it's a bit risky play now so no use in um attacking that uh scatter gunner because it's gonna die anyways so i may as well just play some more units so i decide to destroy the dust runner anyways and actually absorb the grave locks attack i don't want to be giving away idols too easily especially with that metal wonder back there he had three before and I don't think I noticed. I should have played that Ragged Wolf um, down with the Mangy so I could destroy that idol. But it's not a big deal. I guess I should have. Kind of odd that I did that. And let's see what he does. Iron Whip. So he does that so he can destroy that, um, that veteran. So nice play by Ice Cream. And he says, I'm dumb. I wonder why. We won't ever know because we didn't see his cards. Maybe he had some other order he could have used, but. Or maybe he was gonna use it on one of his creatures to destroy something. So now, let's see. Can we win? So I'm just thinking would a quake help? Maybe, probably not. Um, Godhand would definitely help, but I'm not sure if I could win right now. I wanna save it for a win. And a stag heart. I don't have any stag hearts on the board, so probably the least valuable card I have, but may as well play the sister first because it draws that extra card. So if there's a worse card I have, I could sack that instead of the stag heart. And it was a rally, pretty good card, so I'm going to keep it. And now we got a great wolf and another rally. So a rally here is not too important. I'd rather have that Great Wolf for next turn and then a God Hand. So if you violent dispersals one, I still have another one and I could possibly still win. So things are looking good. I still have to win this game soon or take out that um, Metal Wonder up there because that thing I can lose in three or four uh, enchantments I play. Or spells like the Crimson Bowl, the God Hand and everything. So I play another... And then just separate units a little bit to save from the thunder search and protect that four health idol a little bit. 
because he can win soon if he gets some lucky cards. I'm not too scared because he only had two scrolls this turn, and he just hit pretty good scrolls for this point in the game, potion of resistance and potion of resistance, but I'm not sure if that was enough to stop me, because I have the god hand, and I can win. I can win by using the god hand, so I think I'll just sack around, it doesn't even matter anymore, I won, so I guess I can say GG ice, ice cream, so I think I'll keep that um i'm just trying to i'll save the surprise for later probably knows the god hand's coming seeing that i moved those wolves there to exactly have enough damage to kill that idol but saving it for the last second let's see what i can do so i can just just trying to kill the maximum idols possible to get more gold and there it is gg ice cream well played so my rating went up and that's awesome. I'm up to 1847. I'm actually higher in real life now. And thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Huh. Oh, we got a pother. Um, but can we win? We can destroy that idol and that idol.